play some games. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Mooney, and today we're going to be doing Chapter 2 of the weekly Final Fantasy XIV form questions on this channel. For anybody that doesn't know what's up, and what's going on this is something new that I'm doing to the channel where I answer and I basically go through the form questions and I, you know I pick out which ones that are you know of interest to you know not only me or or to what I think you guys should know too um, there's a lot of stupid people and dumb fucking questions on the forums you know I, I like to pick those out sometimes but today we're going to be um, going through tank questions that uh, the community wants to know about. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, first question is a character, a Brokaden, it looks like from Mateus, um, a level 64 Marauder. Um, and this person wants to know about Flash for Warriors. Now this person says, um, I know, I know, get good, I suck, I get it. But seriously, listen, I'm getting old. Things don't work like they used to. My reflexes are utterly crap. Having Flash was great as a warrior because it make it made it easier for me to do big pulls. Running into group, Flash, move on. Non-targeted AOE threat is a treat. It's wonderful and I really like it back without having to burn a steel cyclone. You know what? You have a good point. You have a good point. Um... <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't. I don't know if you being old has anything to apply to this question. I mean, this is something that you know I feel that is pretty freaking janky with uh, warriors nowadays, and that's doing big pulls. I mean, now this is coming from somebody that you know has a level seventy pal. I don't know this other person. I don't know if this person has any other tanks at level seventy. It looks like this person doesn't even have um, warrior uh, to uh, level seventy yet. So I don't. I don't even know what to feel about that. But this is coming from having both the other two tanks at level seventy, and my warrior is at like sixty-seven. And um, yeah, I mean, doing big pulls is fucking weird nowadays as a warrior. I mean, it used to be back in, in Heaven's Ward, you know, Warriors was, was kings of that shit. I mean, yeah, I would, I would, you know, I would use Flash, you know, running through the, the mobs, you know, let them come all after me. And then, um, once they all group up, you know, I pop blood, uh, bloodbath and, you know, I'll use Steel Cyclone and Overpower. And it felt like I had all these tools as a warrior to do big pulls and be a-okay. Like, I, like... Dude, you do a big pull, bloodbath, seal cyclone, overpowered, dude, you are not gonna die. Um, and, um, I mean, this, this question has to be before the, um, you know, what they just changed with steel cyclone, and they made steel cyclone now give, um, HP back when you use it, but it's still not the same, you know, like, you know, yeah, like, overpower is a cone AoE, like, how can you compare a cone AoE to, like, something like, you know, what, you know, Dark Knight or Paladin has, which is just a full, you know, you know, 360 AoE, you know, I mean, Dark Knight has multiple different AoEs that they could spam and use to, you know, you know, generate aggro within mobs, so, like, it definitely feels like Warriors definitely got to D with that one, but, I mean, you know, this is coming from somebody that, you know, that is leveling up Warrior, I mean, they do feel like they are the tankiest of the tank classes, and I'm not just saying that, I'm pretty sure you guys heard that um, other places as well, but it's true what they say, like, you know, freaking, you know, Inner Beast is, is a fucking beast, I mean, there's nothing else to say with that, I mean, all their cooldowns that Warrior has in, they also, you know, took, you know, from the other two tanks, this um, expansion, I mean, like warriors definitely have the best cooldowns um, to their to their when it comes to big pulls like that. Um, so I mean, I don't think eh, I don't I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I do miss Flash, but I mean, I mean, hey, we we like we we got Steel Cyclone. All right, this next fucking person just made me fucking mad. Just pissed me the fuck off just with the stupidity. And this is the shit I'm talking about on the forums. 
And this is the shit that needs to be addressed because this person's sending out the raw messages. And honestly, I don't even feel like this, like, this is their opinion. Like, I heard this from other people, um, from other podcasts and shit like that. And this guy is basically mimicking the same shit that they said. But let's, let's read what he has to say. Um... He's just, you know, he's a dark knight or, or a, you know, he's talking about dark knights and he's talking about how dark passenger um, is utterly shit now. I mean, <laughs> I mean, is it really? But all right, let's 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 read what he has to say. No changes to dark knight, no changes to TBN or our mitigation. Savage selection is going to be rough now that warriors are buffed. I don't understand what's the purpose of this ability. It currently serves no purpose outside of destroying our mana pool. Likewise, the Blackest Knight is still going to make me rage quit due to the server ticks and not registering. Three seconds of TBN and you get uh, hit by uh, the Taint Buster equal A, a really bad feeling. Shadow Wall is still on a high cooldown. I mean, this person is just fucking bitching about everything with Dark Knight, and Dark Knight feels so good, I don't understand, and the thing is, I really, really feel like this is not their opinion, and that's the one thing that's really fucked up about this community, it's just like, you know, like, they hear what somebody has to say on, like, some other site, or, like, on Twitch, or something like that, and then they just take it as, like, oh, like, they're just a 100% right, and, you know, just the thing, I'm about to fucking, just fucking break it down, because this person doesn't understand what's the purpose of Dark Passenger now, since, I mean, basically what people are saying now, that there's no point of using Dark Passenger, because even if you was to you use Dark Passenger, um, yeah, it's, you're not gaining a DPS increase, which, you know, may be true, and, you know, also, and, and so the reason why, if you're not going to gain a DPS increase, why use it? Because it's going to kill your mana. Okay, but I mean, let's, let's go back to, you know, what they was talking about and what Square Enix wanted to, you know, discuss with us about, you know, this upcoming expansion. What did they want to do? What was one of the main goals that they wanted to do for this expansion? Well, to bring the lower players or, you know, proposedly lower players or, you know, uh, less hardcore players up to, you know, somewhat of the hardcore. Like, they wanted to, you know, bridge the gap between hardcore and, like, mid-core players. And how to do that is, you know, to make skills like this. Yeah, Dark Passenger isn't a skill increase if, you know, uh, isn't a DPS increase. But if you have that extra mana and you're not using it, use Dark Passenger. This is, I feel like Dark Passenger, like I'm playing as Dark Knight now. And I'll, I'll admit sometimes, yeah, like I get so much MP now as a Dark Knight. It sometimes hits 100. So as soon as it hits 100 with my mana, I would use Dark Passenger. This is, ba Dark Passenger is basically now... So, you, you know, you should never have to hit 100 mana on, you know, on your Dark Knight. I mean, it's basically like a, you know, I fucked up button, and this is how you fix it. I mean, that's how you bridge the gap between, you know, fucking hardcore players and, like, those midcore players. You know, that's, like, somewhere in between, you know? Like, yeah, those, the hardcore players, they never have to worry about that because they're just doing whatever they can so they can have, like, as little mana as possible but as much deeps as possible. But, I mean, if you're one of those players, you know, sometimes yeah, you're going to hit 100% of mana. You're just going to get so much mana back during your rotation, um, you know, and if you're not spamming dark arts or whatever, you're going to hit 100. So you use dark passenger and bam you know the problems fixed so i really don't understand what this fucking guy's problem is and this guy is bitching about the blackest knight ability the level 70 ability for dark knight which i find is a make yeah okay the fucking time is fucking like slightly off like a second off but hey this is my answer for you fucking get good dude like i don't understand
I just don't understand. You're bitching about nothing. Dark Knight is good. Don't listen to this fucker. But, alright, that's it, guys. That's all I'm gonna talk about for today. You know, um, you know, I'll, maybe next week I'll do more, you know, tank questions. Um, and I'll read off the form about, uh, you know, different tank shit. But, uh, you guys have a good day. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about these fuckers in the fucking, uh, Final Fantasy forms. You know, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to your boy, dude. Like, I'm here all day making Final Fantasy shit. You know, I'll catch you guys later. You have a great day. Peace.